What's good YouTube, it's your boy CJ1K back with another video, man. And honestly, this is a highly requested video and y'all been asking me to do this for a while. I haven't done it just because I'll be like, oh, I'm waiting on this. I gotta wait till I get this. Oh, then I'll do the video. But low key, like the amount of stuff that I'm looking at right now for this video is low key overwhelming. Like I don't even know where to start at, but this is gonna be my recent pickups and everything in this video I've gotten within like the last month. So I might even have to break this up into two videos, but it's been a lot of stuff that's curated from like gift things, uh working with brands campaigns i got coming up my friends that make cool clothes and that's really just it so like i said before let's get into this video and make sure y'all subscribe man. so just because it's sitting right here we're gonna start with this box that i got from heat uh heat is like a mystery luxury brand so like they send you care packages and you never know what's in them let's open this up they ain't come in a dust bag too so this right here was a Casablanca jumpsuit, like the whole top and the bottom, which was low key crazy for me because I'm just really like, I didn't know how I was gonna wear this, but also I would probably never wear these together. I would say that's just too like a Mexican uncle, I'm about to go play soccer type of beat. So I'm not gonna wear these two together, but it's definitely a great pickup and a good cop. Um, Shout out to Heat for sending me this. And I just had to bust a fit pick for it, bro. And now I got some Casablanca, man. So thank you to Heat. It's a little small on my shoulders or it's a little small on my arms. But I guess it's a smaller type of fit, but I'm just tall maybe, so that's what it is. Next pickup is these Rick Owens pants. They're Rick Owens bowling jeans, and yeah, I've already been wearing them a lot, honestly. Y'all can see the heel bite that's starting to get on them. But I think these are super sick pants. It's kind of like, well, it's like a fuchsia color, but based off the like shiny material, it's kind of like it's waxed maybe. But these super sick pants, I went with the... Uh, I got a 33 on the waist for these pants. I wish I would have got a 32, but I copped these off Essence because Essence private sale just be going crazy. And um, definitely not mad at these. This is a good piece for probably like fashion week or something to wear like that. I noticed this is not something I'm going to be just wearing around a lot. I could justify buying them and they were like 600, 611 off Essence private sale. So I had to pick these up. So next, we got this jacket from CP Company right here. Uh, I don't know what this retailed at because it was a gift. I got it from their CP Company's PR team. I went up to the office in New York and I caught this. Well, they had it waiting for me. I had a few different options and stuff to see. Y'all seen it in probably one of my last vlogs, but I think this is a super dope jacket. The material, I don't really know what it is, but it's like a windbreaker. It feels like recycled material. And I love like the iridescent color that it is. And I wonder is this a jacket that's really fighting off the rain like some Gore-Tex or not? Cause I don't think it's Gore-Tex. So it's a lot of items so I'm, and I'm looking down at them but I'm not gonna wear all the items cause I will literally be doing this for like 30 minutes tops based off all the pieces they send me. But I'm gonna show y'all what we got. This is all from Entire Studios. Shout out all my friends at Entire Studios. Mostly my boy Seb who got me right with all of the items that I wanted. Hold on, I'm not even done yet actually. This is all Entire Studios. So if y'all seeing me in Entire Studios a lot, y'all know why. Actually, I'm still not done. This is Entire Studios also. <laughs> So I'm gonna just show y'all some of the pieces real fast, mostly the tops, cause I don't keep feeling like taking my pants on and off. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep doing that. But first we got their full zip jacket. It's got like a fleece material on the inside. So it's definitely gonna be a good jacket when it's a fall winter time. But they're like super, I'll say super oversized, but boxy at the same time. And this goes all the way up. And the hood game, my braid's not out right now, bro, so it's gonna look crazy, but the hood game is crazy, bro. Like, 
Every jacket is like this. And obviously, oh my God, I'm hot. Every jacket is going to be like this. And no, it's not like you got to wear it like that every time. But I just think that's fire. So we got that. We have the bomber jacket also. This one is in the army green colorway. And then I guess after I put the items on, I'll show you how the color variations that I got. But this is the army green bomber. So definitely gonna be rocking this a lot once it get a little colder outside. Y'all gonna catch me in all entire studios, bro, I'm telling you. And this is like their Sherpa that they have. I haven't even tried this one on yet, but this Sherpa's pretty sick. Then we have entire studios, all of their tank tops. If I say like the size that you actually are in a tank top size down, cause these are very stretchy. And the fact that they are very stretchy, if you get your true to size, so like usually I would have got a large maybe, but the medium I found fit me a little better, so I decided to go with all mediums. This is the same bomber jacket in silver. Or their gray colorway, like an onyx. This is the color that I got. This one's the black colorway. This one's probably my favorite one because like I've been looking for a black bomber for a minute and they came through for the boy. This is the same shirt, but it just got a padded inside, like a quilted inside on it. Y'all can tell there. But this is also from Entire Studios. They ain't got me right, bro. This is a pocket in the back, like a zip. Two more of those full zips that I was showing y'all that I had on, the gray one I was just wearing. These are two more of those. And this is a parka. This is a crazy, like, all right, I gotta try this one on so y'all can see this. But this parka is kind of like your standard puffer jacket material. So it'll definitely be useful once it's cold and snowing in New York or I go to London or Montreal, wherever I'm going. But this is how this fits. And it got, it's like a giant coat, but a robe. Like I feel like I'm somebody's like grandma on vacation. But you know what I'm gonna wear these with. Well, I can't even say what I'm gonna wear them with because y'all don't even know I have these yet. Unless you follow my IG. And this was the last piece from Entire Studios, their cargo pants. When I tell you this is like the heaviest GSM, I don't even think this is all cotton, bro. But, bro, these cargo pants will last you forever, I feel like. And they super baggy. I'm going to just try them on for y'all for the sake of the video. Just in case y'all want to cop a size. These are like an XL. And I'm a... These are like an XL and I'm like 6'3". I'm for sure going to need a belt with these, but... Super baggy cargos. And you feel how, like... Bro, they feel like you got, oh, you walking with a boulder on your legs, bro. They so heavy, and but they also zip off at the knee that it's supposed to be the knee, but that's for sure longer. I love these pants, though. Definitely going to be a good cop once it get cold. Like, they send me all real fall winter pieces. This next piece right here is a super dope one-on-one -on -one jacket. Uh, it's by Mazir. I want y'all to see that on the back, the details on the back of it. The spikes, just everything. This for my homie Andy. He's starting a brand. I was also rolling this out during Fashion Week too. It's so heavy, bro. So like, hopefully I can have a bag or something, or just wear it in and out of a show. But super great quality. I need y'all to see this, bro, cause it's fire. But like, quality is crazy. When they first handed me this jacket, it's like, yeah, it's a one on one. It's the sample of it. Um, we need you bust fit pics with it. I'm just like, bro, it is hot, man. As soon as I held it, I was like, bro, this jacket weighs, this jacket weighs at least five pounds, bro. No cap, but Andy went crazy on this, and you can check the details on the inside, even like the tag. Mizir. Crazy jacket. I just had to show y'all that early, but I'm not wearing this till probably fashion week. Um, so we're going to put this to the side. So next we're going to get into a footwear piece, which is these Doc Martens right here. They did a collab with Wacko Maria. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this was a gift that I got from Doc Martens. And it's a Doc Martin 1461 shoe. It's like this cheetah print right here. I thought they were sick, so once I seen this on the gifting list, I was just like, oh, I gotta grab these, because I like getting shoes that you're not gonna see a lot of people in, or when it's coming to wear them, 
I like to challenge myself. I don't always want to keep it myself in one niche. So that's one thing I've always told myself, like, bro, just cop stuff. You never know what niche I'm going to be in. And that's how I keep y'all on y'all toes. Y'all don't know what I'm going to post next. So one of my pickups was these Balenciaga Defenders right here. So I got this deal with Second Street and I ended up getting these for a really good play like a great play so and once i go to second street most of the time you don't really see no size 13s these are a 14 actually but it's cool like i can fit the shoe but yeah i got these defenders right here they go crazy at first i wasn't really jacking them too much because i'm just like eh. but for the price point it was but the play that i got these for there was no way i was not getting them so shout out to second street for these next shoe we got on the list is these right here you see the nike box Martin Rose. These were the sleeper. This one of the shoes I realized like if you like them, you really like them. And if you don't like them, you're gonna hate them. It's not really an in between, but people trying to clown me for having the shoes. My thing is they not on y'all feet. Don't be mad at me because you can't wear these. I look fly though. You ain't gotta tell me. But I got these on um, from Kith. They like retail for like 217. It was no way I was missing out on these. I also do want the blue pair, but it's hard to come across the blue ones for some reason. And they too high. I'm not paying $600 for the blue shits. But shout out Martin Rose. Shout out Nike. And low key, I got more shit from Nike too. So the next few shoes I'm going to be showing are from Hoka. I'm doing a campaign that's coming up with Hoka. So I'm getting a lot of Hoka kicks. I think I'm missing like two more. But these right here are the ultra highs. I think they crazy though. But just gotta bust some fit picks off with these. They like a hiking boot. Y'all, I'm sure y'all know about or heard about Hoka. So they sent me these hiking boots right here. I like these. I thought I ordered the blue colorway, but they sent me the red one. I don't know if that's wrong, but instead of maybe trying to send them back to get a different size, I just challenged myself for the campaign. But I didn't want the red ones. And like I said, we got two more Hoka boxes and I'm still missing one. But these, the Aparas, it's like, a, this was the shoe that I chose where I'm like, okay, bro, you got to challenge yourself. But like, it's like the hiking, like mom, dad, clog, but they fire though. And I like the blue, it's like a bluish gray tint to them. I don't know if the camera picking that up. They really look blue on camera. So I don't know. They kind of look gray also. I think these are crazy though. So the fit pick that come with these, just know I had to put some, apply some pressure, bro, because ain't nobody just wearing these. Like, that's doing fashion. Watch how I step, though. And the last Hoka shoe that we got right here is the Ultra Low, which is the same colorway. This is why I wanted the other colorway, because it's the same colorway of the shoe that I have already when... I don't know, bro. Like, I didn't, I didn't want the same two shoes. The gray ones were fire, though. But hopefully they send the gray ones through. These are the ultra lows of the same Hoka shoe. This campaign with Hoka is going to be pretty sick, honestly. All right, I done did a couple shoes. I'm going to save my two, like, bangers for the end. I guess three. I still got a few more shoes to do, but we're going to get back into some of the clothing pieces. This right here is from my boy Splurge. Peaceful People. It's a varsity jacket. With the like pearls on for the buttons. Y'all see that? Pearls for the buttons go crazy, but it's like a green knitted on the inside or it's quilted. And that's what I was saying, bro. Like some of my homies just make fire clothes, bro. This is a sick jacket and the details are amazing. And it's not too thick of a varsity jacket, which I like. So you can still wear when it's a little warmer in the fall and the winter days. So I feel like this video wouldn't be complete without showing my favorite pants right now. But these blowout jeans from Basket Case Gallery, bro. I promise I wear these pants probably like four times a week i'm gonna just be honest maybe three times but like these pants are just crazy they go with everything they look good but we went to the basket case pop-up shout out my homie zach zach showed love at the pop-up and he gave me um what i think three or four items i had to cop those bro because you gotta show support to your mans bro i gotta get the good fit picks off so stand on track with basket case we got this right here also it's a varsity jacket from basket case gallery I'm not going to put this one on right now. Actually, I'm putting it on. I'm not going to lie. This is one of my favorite jackets, too. But I decided to go with a medium in this one because I don't like my varsity jackets to fit baggy. I like them to be, like, more form-fitting when I'm wearing them because I think they just... 
I don't know, it give me like that varsity jock football feeling, bro. Like, I don't want no big giant ass varsity jacket. I like how small it is and tight on my arms, but I definitely got a good fit pick coming with this. I just wanted to show y'all this early too, cause I know don't nobody got it. And if y'all know the iconic Forrest Ripperton, y'all know about this hoodie right here. And this is another gifted from one of my boys from his brand IHP, I'm happy promise. But it's a full zip jacket, definitely cold. Like I usually wear this when I'm going for like some cozy wear or if I'm wearing black. Cause if I'm wearing black, it just give me that slight pop of color that I be looking for. Uh, shout out Forrest, boy been going crazy with his drip. Y'all just seen his jacket on me plenty of times though. Next up, now we getting towards the end of the, the, the shebang. We getting towards the end of the vibe. Which, it seemed like I got through this video faster than I thought I would. Oh shoot, I got one big package at the end that I didn't. Okay, now nah, I gotta get going. But these right here, Mason Margellas, if y'all seen in my vlog uh, a few days ago, I got tabby boots. They go crazy, definitely a comfy shoe. If tabby boot is one of the boots that I always wanted because I've always wanted to be able to switch my niche up a little bit. Not switch my niche up, but I've always wanted to be able to take like a sleeker shoe and not really go streetwear all the time. And I feel like the tabbies was the perfect shoe for that. Y'all can see I've been wearing the mechs out of them. But they retail for like 1200 It wasn't too bad. We just went and go pick them up right out of the store. And I definitely wear these when I got events I need to dress up a little nicer for. But the leather on the shoes is also crazy. I say my only complaint is that they do like a, a system where you got to take these like silver studs right here and place them into that little strip and i just don't really like that because it's always coming undone like if you're walking around you're literally pulling the opposite direction of them so sometimes they'll open up which if you're wearing shorts i just don't really like how that look but other than wearing shorts i mean it's fine so next we got these white pants right here it's all from recycled material but they're from this brand called honest and I went, I did a fit pick with these. You didn't even see the material of them probably on camera. But it's like that canvas kind of material. And I've been waiting on some white pants like this because the only ones that I had was from Jaded London. And I'm trying to steer a little past wearing the Jaded London, which I mean, it's fine still because they show love all the time. But needed more pants. So I got these from Greats. It was a PR package, so I didn't have to buy these. And I wore them on like a Pinterest fit pick and it went up. So it was definitely worth it. And next we got these ASICs right here. These are also a gift from ASIC Sports Style. Shout out my, the team in the Netherlands, bro. Cause they got me these right here. These are the uh, Stefan Diggs version of the ASICs that they just dropped not too long ago, actually. But I've been wearing them too when I was out in Philly for a couple of days. But I'm not gonna lie, ASICs got ASICs got something going on with this, bro. And just their silhouettes in general, especially like a lot of the stuff that they do with Kiko. I think Kiko makes a lot of the great designs with ASICs. So definitely love these. And I'll be wearing them when I'm like trying to be calm or not have to do too much for an outfit or just gotta quit make a quick run. You can be fly still. All right, the next thing is these pants right here from Sheila. So funny story about these pants, she pulled up on me at Dr. Garment's Q pop-up and she was like, oh, I make pants, blah, blah, blah. Like, can I make some pants for you? I'm like, of course. She's like, what's the type of pants you like? I'm like super baggy and I want them just cut up, like just fuck them up. Like I can't express that too much, but she did this like double waist right here for the pants and then she just tore them up, bro. Look at this. It's fire. That's how you know I was filming a lot. So maybe I wasn't doing it as fast as I thought I was because my camera was overheating. So I'm gonna try and get this done pretty fast now. Next shoe, we got this gifting right here. Obviously I know what this is. It's a Tim's box, but y'all didn't see me wear this before. I got some black butters on the get ready with me. I posted basically that what was in the packages. They was just saying, thank you for supporting us, blah, blah, blah. And we hope you like styling them. And I styled them and the pick went crazy. <laughs> So now for one of the bigger items, the second to last item. Y'all don't know what these are. Maybe y'all do know what they are, but it's a giant Balenci box. Uh, this is one of my grails. I've been wanting this shoe since like 20, what was that? It was probably two years ago. So 2020, 2021, maybe when Kanye did the fit pick in these. Um, and I've been wanting them since then, but I couldn't afford these Johns, bro. 
but I got the giant Balenciaga steroid boots. These are one of my favorite shoes. The only thing about this shoe is it's mad uncomfortable, bro. Like, I paid $1,500 for the shoe, bro, and I can honestly say as if they stop being painful, it's worth the $1,500, bro. If not, it was not worth it, bro, but they super light, like literally a dumb light shoe bro and you would think they was heavy but when i first bought them and grabbed them off the wall i almost flinged them shits across the room bro or across the balenciaga store but i copped those out of store and i could go with a size 45 i didn't think that was gonna be big enough but it was because they run super big so the lady in the store was saying people was having to go like a whole size or two three sizes down and i don't know why that is but i only went one size down and they work fine for me so and the last thing that we got is this bag from Nike and this also got a suitcase from Nike also and it's a lot of stuff in there. So if y'all don't know, I went on a brand trip with Nike and they gave us a whole bunch of stuff, bro. But in this tote bag right here or the gym bag, it was for the Nike. Uh, I know it's upside down, but it was Nike 50 years of hip hop. And there was a big celebration out here. Went to the concert and everything. But it's just some slides in here from Nike. From Nike. And then we can get into this suitcase. I'm going to just lay it on my bed so y'all can see the whole thing. Because it's a lot of stuff. I'm going to come closer so we can just get right into this. This is going to be a little different. So we got a giant package. Suitcase full of stuff. This was at the first event we went to. It's just the CD with like CJ Sayer on the front of it. I thought that was dope. Very detailed. They sent us a pair of beats also. Or not sent us, but they gave us a pair of beats. And I thought these was dope too. Uh, it's just a black pair of studio beats. It's some, eh, I'll show you. A black pair of studio beats. The normal beats, big ones. And I'll be honest, they giving the AirPods, uh, AirPod Max is a run for their money bro i know they're the same company and shit now but still bro they definitely up there so next we got these 50th anniversary forces right here these are the only ones from the trip that i didn't wear just because i wanted to keep them on ice i'm not from the bronx at all but whatever bro boom got those uh we were supposed to do a workout but we ended up not doing it because everybody on the trip got too lit so we didn't end up going on the workout in the morning uh but they gave us these trainers right here too brand new this is a nike shirt they gave us a lot of like workout gear it's a normal black tee with a check on it as soon as we got into the hotel the first thing we got was like this right here say nike and it's just kind of like your record went gold but it say cj sayer and then right here nike hip-hop so it's like your record went gold my records go platinum but that's just me they took us to the yankee stadium to watch the 50th year of hip-hop anniversary so it's a big concert and nike gave us these jerseys right here and they got my name on the back of it i thought this was crazy i got the 50 on the back for the 50th year anniversary they had us in like up in a suite bro it was crazy next y'all already know what this is the nike tech they gave us a nike tech i think i'm the only one that got the gray one because i'm a bloke man i'm really from london so they had to get me right with the central sea attire these are some tights for when you go run in the morning and then this right here is a tank i ain't even open none of this stuff up but that's a tank too and the last things we got were we made like custom forces so this was my air force one i probably only got one more wear out of these until it's time for them to be done for but i put a 1k on the side of it right here and just made me some forces bro i didn't want to touch these at all the st louis in me just wanted to keep them all white forces and last but not least we got the terror squad and i only wore these to the rucker park game that they had us go to but this is um fat joe Am I tripping? I think Fat Joe. It gotta be Fat Joe, bro. But these Terra squads, bro. And I only wore these to the game. Probably wear them one more time and throw them on Depop or something. But Nike came through and blessed. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know I'm at a different angle right now, but it's all good. I got this. Bro, it's even more stuff, but I promise I would be going on for forever. Honorable mention. I'll do an honorable mention for the last month where these right here, my Rick Owens Kiss Heels. And this is going to be the last item on this video. Um, Let me know what videos y'all want to see more of. And I appreciate y'all watching my content, bro. It's your boy CJ1K, man. And come subscribe, bro. If y'all watching, y'all know y'all not subscribed. Just come join the team, bro. We good over here. It's a safe space. 
But it's your boy CJ1K, like I said, and I'm out. Peace.